Hello there and welcome to this week's vlog and the theme today is hope or rather looking for hope. Bishop Leslie Newbegin was uh, a man who lived in the last century, died in I think 1998. Um, he was for many many years a missionary uh, seeking to proclaim the gospel in India. And apparently when he came back after his uh, long period in India and settled back in, in the UK, into the UK, he was asked, what, what difference do you notice about the UK as it is now compared with how you knew it? And so the story goes, his response after thinking about it said, I've noticed a great lack of hope in people. And I mentioned that because this week in our church and the sister church in the nearby village have been engaged in a, a week of special events. And the theme of the special events is, here's the card we've been giving out, looking for hope and trying to uh, engage with our communities. So uh, we were out last week delivering thousands of these flyers. Uh, our vicars termed, uh, coined the term flyering as opposed to leafleting, I suppose. I don't know if flyering is a word, but it is now. Uh, and often, rather than just posting the cards through the door, we've been knocking on doors and just giving people uh, a brief invita invitation, uh, handing over the card personally. Sometimes it can make a difference. And on the whole, people have accepted that willingly. Uh, sometimes people have got into quite good conversations as a result of that. A few have said, no, not interested, which is fair enough. People have their choice. So we've been inviting people uh, to lots of events going on this week. On Monday, uh, on uh, a couple of nights ago, we had a, a night of colour, which is when uh, a Christian artist came and talked about his art and did a, I think he did a bit of artwork and he talked about his faith. That went really well. Other events include a uh, big pub quiz. Uh, one of our local um, venues has uh, said we can uh, do that there. And there'll be a faith element, obviously. Um, there's a family fun day and lots of other events going on. Um, but apart, as well as inviting people to various events, some uh, will be in the church, but uh, others not in other places. Uh, we're also uh, being out and about in our community. And one of the things we've been doing is um, with the agreement of quite a number of our local supermarkets, we've been standing outside and inviting people to cast their vote in the big question. What is that all about? Well, we give people a, a little plastic ball and the question is, does Jesus love and then the name of the place where we are. So in the case of our church, it's in a place called Edenthorpe and Kirk Sandal. That's the parish. So does Jesus love Edenthorpe and Kirk Sandal? So there's two boxes. One is for yes and one is for no. And we just invite people to throw the ball in whichever box they feel is appropriate for how they feel in answer to that question. Does Jesus love this community? And... Uh, a few people have said, I'm not sure, but most have cast their vote one way or the other. And it's been really interesting to see that at the end of the day, I would say maybe 85, 90 percent at least have put their vote in the yes box that they believe that Jesus loves this community, which is fascinating. We haven't got into uh, conversations, particularly occasionally people will enter into a conversation, ask questions or whatever, which is good. Uh, but we just simply ask them to cast their vote. And then when they've done that, we give them a chocolate or a sweet in, in the case of younger people. So it's been really good exercise getting out. Remember, Jesus said two things. He said when he invited disciples or called disciples, he said, come unto me and then go into the world. And sometimes we make the mistake of sitting in our churches, waiting for people to come when actually Sometimes it can be more effective to get out there, to be a witness in our community or in our workplace or wherever. So we've we've mixed and matched. Sometimes we're inviting people to special events. 
hopefully they'll really enjoy that and uh, be blessed by that and hear something of the Christian gospel. But other times we're going out there and getting involved in our community. And hopefully by asking people that question, does Jesus love this community? Even if people just cast uh, their vote and then get a sweet and walk off, it makes them think, hmm, interesting question. So uh, uh, that's been a really good week and we're continuing that uh, until uh, Sunday special guest services. And one of the things we've also been doing as we've been out and about asking the big question is giving people this uh, wonderful magazine, the Hope magazine. Um, there it is. It's good news. It's uh, a lovely glossy magazine with, with pictures and it's uh, one of the Gospels. And I can't quite remember which one, which one of the Gospels it is, uh, but it's the, the, uh, the Gospels, but presented in a way that is really attractive pictures, uh, little passages, highlights. And that's uh, been produced um, by the organisation called Good News for Everyone, which is the name of the organisation that used to be called the Gideons. So they've uh, produced this and it's been great to give these out to people and uh, just praying that as people take those home, begin to read them, that God will, by his spirit, speak through um, through the magazines. So that's been a fantastic uh, week so far, and we're hoping and praying that there will be fruit from it. Uh, but uh, it's, it's been so good to um, come back to that big uh, theme of hope, looking for hope. And I believe many, many people are desperate for hope, something in which they can put their trust and find hope for the, the way forward. And uh, of course, as the song goes, we believe in Christ alone, our hope is found. And those of us who found our hope in Christ, we are called uh, by him to share it, to demonstrate it in our lives, that we are people of hope and we long that others too may come to find their hope in Jesus. So thank you so much for listening today. I hope that that's been of some interest to you. And uh, there you are, that word hope again. But the hope we have in Jesus is not a wishy-washy hope like I hope the, the rain will keep off today, but a, a sure and certain hope for now and for all eternity in Jesus. So uh, that's good news. So God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today.